then the motional EMF E is L B V. L B V. This is always the case whenever the whenever the magnetic field is perpendicular to the plane in which the rod is moving. And of course, assuming that the rod is moving with constant velocity, L B V. L is 1, and B is 1, Tesla. L is 1 meter, and V is 5 meters per second. So we end up with 5 volts. The EMF is measured in, measured in volts. What's the current in the resistor? Now, we have seen in our analysis of this situation, we have seen that the positive charge moves up and the negative charge moves down. Again, this is obtained from what the fact that the force is Q V cross B, the force on a charged particle. So if I have a positive charge, for example, if Q is positive, the direction of the force is the same as the direction of V cross B. So what is the direction of V cross B here? V is to the right, and B is into the page. So how do you get V cross B? The right hand rule, you put your fingers, four fingers, along V. So you put your four fingers to the right, and you rotate them toward B. B is where? Into the page. So you put your fingers to the right and rotate them into the page. And the thumb points up. So the force on positive charges is up. If Q is negative, the force will be down. So what happens then is that we end up with positive charge here and negative charge here. And the induced EMF will be 5 volts. It's, it's like as if I have a battery, the positive terminal here and the negative terminal there. And it's a 5 volts battery. The situation is equivalent now to this. We have a 5 volts battery and 20 ohms resistor. That's what we have. What's the current now? Ohm's law. Ohm's law, V equal IR, or in this case E, the EMF is equal to I R. So the current I is E over R. E is 5 volts, and R is 20 ohms. So this is 5 over 20, which is 0 0.25 amperes. So the current is 0 0.25 amperes. What is the power dissipated in the resistor? It's what is the potential difference across the resistor, IR. I is 0.25, R is 20, so it's 5 volts. The voltage across the resistor is 5 volts. And the current is 0 0.25 amperes. So the power is just I times the voltage across the resistor delta V across the resistor. I is 0 0.25 amperes, and delta V, the potential difference across the resistor, is 5 volts. It's the same as. So this is 1.25 watts. You can also obtain this since the potential across the 
resistor is also IR, you can also write this as P equals I times the potential across the resistor, which is also I R, so just I square R, which is in this case 0 0.25 square. So 0 0.25 is 1 over 4. So that's 1 over 4 square times R, which is 20 ohms. So 1 over 4 square is 1 over 16, so that's 20 over 16, which is 1.25 watts. So you can get it either way.